Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And that's right, you can see I got some 12 inch GI Joes in front of me. These Adventure Team figures are from 2003. And one of the things that I was really hoping that they would do with the 60th anniversary of GI Joe is maybe throw an odd or an ode to this Adventure Team. Now I've talked about it on the Toy Duo live stream and you can hear me talking about that if you check out some of those streams. And I've also used my 12 inch GI Joes, especially this guy who's my pilot, in some of my earlier stop motion movies, if you go back and watch them, I have three. They're called the Action Team. And I know a lot of people corrected me at the time that said, no, they're Action Man. And then um, and then other people said they were Adventure Team. But I was kind of doing of a cross between because of the logo. I wanted to keep that AT logo, but I wanted it to mean something else. So anyways, you can check out those videos. Those are on my channel. This is a vintage G.I. Joe, and I'm going to pull him out of the box. And the cool thing about these G.I. Joes is, yes, they were fully articulable, uh, fully... <laughs> They were able to fully articulate with their arms, the hands, the bodies, the heads and necks. And they had these really cool flocked heads, which were fantastic. And this one is in really, really good shape. I think this is like the, probably the only one that I really, really took care of because I like the, this whole pilot dude. Now, if you look, it's the Air Adventurer and he's supposed to have like a jumpsuit, but at Hot Topic back in 2003, they had their version and he came in this outfit, which was the wrong outfit because this should be, I think, the sailor, the action sailor. But they gave him the blonde hair, same guy. This should be this guy, but in like some sort of like a flight gear. Now you can see on the box, there were these Adventure Team characters, a backpack helicopter, that's the black... Uh, widow rendezvous he had like a dirt bike dude this hunter the sea going one and then a couple of them and you had this little track now these are pretty cool and i only took a couple of these down these i got in 2003 from walmart and the coolest thing is at that time they were only $14.99. Can you imagine getting a 12-inch G.I. Joe fully articulated like this with like the pistol and stuff like that just looking awesome for $15? Yeah. So I have a whole set on top of my shelf, but I just took these ones down just to show them off. Now, here is an extra one that I got from the Hot Topic in I think the wrong outfit. Now the thing is he's got full articulation and this one of course has the Kung Fu grip, which is cool. When I was growing up, the Kung Fu grip would like break right here eventually and these hands would just come off. And you can see he's got a very similar pistol to what my pilot is carrying and it's a revolver. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've ever taken this out because you can still see the plastic. I had used this one to take out. So there was the original pistol anyways. Just show that off. I really like just like an expose to show off some 12 inch uh, GI Joes to kind of like highlight what I wish Hasbro would do for the 60th anniversary and making like um, an ode to this 12 inch Joe with like kind of that hairdo, that mustache, give him the scar. Make sure you get that AT logo, but that way you know he's part of the adventure team. Now that Black Widow Rendezvous, they did come out with um, some re-releases, uh, I think around the same time. And I got this guy here. Let me just back up a little bit further. And you can see I got him strapped into his backpack helicopter. And the cool thing about this is it has a trigger button right here that if you push it, it makes that thing spin. So you can run around the yard. Hey, I'm coming in, you know, and you can play with that all day long. Now, he does have a helmet, but I didn't grab that. He has a helmet with a face shield that pops up, and it looks pretty cool. And you can see he's got his kung fu grip, too. And the thing is, he has no problem really standing up on his own. <laughs> I'm trying to prove a point about how well he can stand up, and he just falls over. But anyways, I have him standing up on the shelf for quite a long time, and he can stand with this, like, jetpack helicopter thing pretty well on his own if you just get him in the right position but anyways these are some 12 inch gi joes in my collection kind of wanted to show them off because this is kind of what i want hasbro to do for that 60th anniversary of gi joe is kind of bring back some of these adventure team guys anyways everybody thanks for tuning in i really appreciate it and have a fantastic day